Lee and welcome. I am going to be working my journal today and I'm going to be using some acrylic paints, uh, some golden acrylic paints and they have lots of different metals and stuff and so I'm going to be using some invisible care lotion which is like gloves for your hands in lotion form because I like to play with my hands with in paint and stuff in chemicals and it's a good idea to have a protective barrier on your hands when playing with such things. I am taking part in a year-long course called um, Wanderlust 2017 and uh, by Everything Art if you go look on my, look, I'm, I'm even wearing a little apron. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, if you go look on my website, you can, uh, liamkale.com, you can see the little thing on it and you can go to their website. There's still time to sign up. It's all different kinds of things about mixed media. They even, the, the people who are running it, Jamie and uh, Kasha, come up with stamps through Eclectica, Paper Artsy, and this is one of them. And Kasha also designed this stencil, which I'll be using today. For one of the classes that they did, it was uh, about patchwork in a journal, and I'm going to be basing my journal on that class by Kate Crane, the ever-lovely Kate Crane, who designed this stamp block texture block for stamp boutique and actually she designed two of them and i have both of them i love them so much um they are fabulous i highly recommend them they come in great if you do mixed media they're invaluable i will be using them both on this project there's another stamp from one of the uh everything art stamp collection it was this is the uh, fifth stamp set that they came up with for Everything Art. This was from the first one. I cut it up. <laughs> it was a crazy time. I cut it up. I'm going to be using this stamp too for texture. Um, I'm going to be using golden paints and all these lovely colors, liquid paints. I'm going to also be using black and white. White mostly to have some different uh, qualities, tints, and hues to the uh, tints to the different colors that I've chosen. Uh, I'm also going to be using some inks that match. I have fern green to go with this gold green, this green gold for golden. I like Ranger Archival inks. Uh, as Kate Crane pointed out, which I did learn from her last year in Everything Art, archival inks stamp really well on acrylic paints. So I have my fern green, which goes well with green gold, tiger lily, which goes with my transparent pyrrole orange, and I have a vowel problem. I know I do. I say orange different than most people. And I have vermilion, which is like quinacridone red. I also have Hansa yellow light, cerulean blue chromium, quinacridone magenta, and ultramarine violet. And if, as you notice, if you look on this, if you can see the black line through where the paint is on here, that tells you the amount of transparency you have on this paint. As you see this Mars black, you don't see the black lines because it's solid just like this titanium white you really have trouble seeing 
the black lines, don't you? Because the titanium white is really opaque. Okay, I also pulled out some Distress Crayons to make marks in the assorted colors that we're using. I have a, a white Sharpie, a white Molotov acrylic pump marker, and a white jelly pen. And I have some washi tape in the colors that I've pulled. For some fun stuff, I thought maybe let's try some Nouveau drops just because, you know, add dimension to things. I have, like I showed you, this stamp set with the letters. Um, Kate Crane did an, a, a patchwork thing similar to what I'm going to be doing. Mine's going to come out different, of course, than hers because I'm a different person. I, uh, I have this stencil that I'm going to use, which was designed by Kasha from Everything Art, which has all these different circles and all great things with a sponge to do with the thing. And then I have my catalyst little tools to make marks if I so desire in the paint. But first, the first step is, and I'm going to be using the black page for the first time. The very first step is to paint a good coating of <laughs> super heavy gesso onto the paper to protect it because this is just black cardstock. I want it to be able to stand up to the paint and hold on to the paint. Let me put this like this. There's gonna be some of the black still showing through, but you'd like to have a good little coating. Add a little water, make this heavy gesso squish around. My page is very much so smaller than what the one Kate Crane did in her class. And like I said, I plan on doing something different than she did, even though I have a lot of the same equipment that she used. She did not use golden paints. It just appealed to me. I like watching Kate Crane work. She uh, has a website called The Catherine Wheel, if you would like to look her up. She's British and very charming. This gesso is very heavy. I'm going to have to dry it. What I'm going to do is, since I explained to you all the different things that I'm going to be using to play with, I am going to pause the taping of this and dry this with the heat gun. And then I'm gonna put music on and start it up again. And then the rest of this will play out with music for you until the very end when I will come back and talk to y'all some more. Let me let this dry. Okay, I'm back. I have to admit that more than a week has passed since I actually started this project. I um, fell. <laughs> And on my right knee, and it swole up pretty badly, and I had to elevate it for the evening on Thursday. And then on Friday, uh, I had to elevate it again. And did not feel like doing anything. Uh, Sunday was Mother's Day, and I had a migraine. And so now... Monday, I had a VA appointment. <laughs> Yesterday was Tuesday. I just had VA appointments and physical therapy and all kinds of things and going to home and things. So finally, it's Thursday again, and here I am, and I'm going to work on my journal again. Life just gets away from me. You know how they have those t-shirts from Game of Thrones? I drink, and I know things. I should have I fall and I know things. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, this is another journal page I did. I will say no. I really like this one. I did this one on January 22nd, 2016. It's a, a Mandela. Here we go. I'm going to start and I need some titanium white. I need flat brushes. I think I want this flat brush. Yeah. So I'm going to take some of my titanium white to use it as a base. To mix with other colors. And the first color I feel like putting in the corner, I like violet. I'm going to start with the... I haven't shaken them up. See, so don't need a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna. We're gonna be working in squares, little squares. Nothing necessarily too big. I'm gonna take a little color and mix it in here. And it'll blend in. It doesn't have to blend in completely. It has some darkness. We don't want complete blending. And since I have a trimmer, I'm probably not going to have straight lines. And that's quite all right with me. I have no problem with that. doggy do on the floor I had to pick up this morning my dog clover is a half doc long hair dachshund half beagle and she looks small because her head is small and her little legs are like the little dachshund legs and she's got a little longish fur but she's a chunk. She weighs 23 pounds. And she's like the sweetest thing ever. And, but she is not house trained. And I put them outside all day, my three dogs. Unless it's storming. And I do have a back kitchen that I leave open for them. Plus the little hearts. So they do it where their food and their water is. So they have shelter and they can go in and eat my dad's house. So they have shelter from the, the elements. Be they what they may. If I go somewhere. Next color I want. I just grabbed. Quinacridone red. The first one was ultramarine violet. This is quinacridone red. I'm doing a drop at a time because golden colors are kind of expensive. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. It's gorgeous. Very cool color. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this, uh, and I'm going to speed up the tape and put you all listening to music for a while. I'll be back. Uh, there you go.
Okay, I've added everything that I'm going to add except for one final thing, which is the word that I would like to add that will surmise what I think is the meaning of this piece. Um, I have my date stamp, May 18th, 2017. Remember this. Um, and it's existentialism. And I have my existentialism from Dostoevsky to Sartre. It's a book that I got. I love existentialism. It's my favorite. And Sartre is my favorite writer. There we go. And I think it needs to go... I don't know why. It just seems to need to go right there. So there it shall go. A work inspired by Kate Crane, but of my own doing. I added the hearts, which I have on hand, many of. I stamped my name in there. I exist. Why do I exist? I don't know why I exist. I do exist. Is there any reason to exist other than existence? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. But this is my piece. I'm very pleased with it. I hope you like it. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and come back and make the video with me again. Thanks, and I love having you visit with me. Yay!